Hi guys, my name's Shelley and I'm the Irish foodie and today we're doing a cook along for a tropical hot sauce. I hope you enjoy it. Super simple recipe and not a ton of ingredients. So today we're going to use two of these limes. I'm going to be using two carrots just to add to the flavour of it. I've got two white onions. I've got my lazy garlic, you can use cloves if you want, a red pepper, and then you can use fresh mangoes, but for ease I'm using mango pulp because mangoes are not fresh over here at the minute. I'm also using pineapple chunks, you can use one or two tins. I'm going to use coriander. And for my chilies, I've gone for bird eye and scotch bonnets just because I love the heat and flavour from these. But you can use any chilies that you want. If you don't like it as spicy, then you can just use a finger chilli. I'm using some sugar to sweeten it up and I'm using white wine vinegar but you can use cider. So you can see here I've got a food processor and I've chopped up all my stuff. I've removed the seeds from my chilies because I don't want it mega hot. So to my food processor I'm going to add my onions, my chilies, my peppers. I've grated up that carrot that's getting added in here as well. And then I'm going to take those limes and I'm going to squeeze them really hard to get all the juice out and add that in. If you want, you can also grate the zest of your limes at this point because that will add a really cool flavour to it. My limes are super hard as you can tell so I'm struggling here to ease them up a bit and get the juice going. You can roll these quite hard along the surface tops before you cut them and then give them a squeeze. That will make them looser. To this we're going to add our pineapple chunks. I only have room for one tin at the minute. And the same with my mango, I'm only going to add half of the mango and then I'll hold it back and then I'll add it later once I've blitzed all this up because otherwise it just won't fit and you'll end up burning out your motor. I'm adding two teaspoons of my lazy garlic. You can use a couple of cloves or if you like it even more garlicky, you can play with the flavours at this point. You won't be able to ruin this dish, it'll taste fab. On with my lid and then we're going to blitz this until it's a nice paste. And as soon as I've got some room and that's blitzed down, I'm going to add a good big handful of coriander and then I'm just going to blitz that further to get that mixed in with those ingredients. Once that's all blitzed, I'm going to add it to a large saucepan. You don't want to get too close because once the steam starts coming off this from the chilli peppers, you can get it in the back of your throat and your eyes. You could wear goggles if you want to just for safety. To this pan then, I'm going to add my vinegar. And I'm also going to add my sugar that you saw earlier. I'm just using a white sugar, but you can use demerara, you can use anything as long as it's not too dark a sugar. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of salt just to get that flavour and make it pop. Okay, I'm going to stir this and then we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes on a low heat. This sauce will last in your fridge for seven days, but like all great things, the longer you leave it, the better it is. So I'm going to bottle mine. At the minute, I'm just boiling these lids to make sure I get rid of all the bacteria. And then I'm going to wash my bottles in soapy water, put them in the oven on 160 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes, and then they'll be bacteria free. Okay, so last stage, our sauce is hot and it will go into our blender. And we're just going to give it a good blend to make sure there's no chunky bits. Use a tea towel just in case it squirts over the top because it will scald you. And give it a nice good blitz just as I say get rid of those chunky bits and then we're ready for bottling. We're going to put it into our sauce bottles while they're hot and while the sauce is hot so nothing cracks. And this is our lovely sauce finished. Now this is fantastic as a present. People love this sauce because it starts off sweet and then it has that nice kick of heat at the end. It isn't blow your face off hot. It certainly has a good kick to it. You can use different chilli peppers if you want to give it a further kick but this is how I like it. It's perfect and most people will be able to eat it. Thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this video then give it a like, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future cooking videos. If you love hot sauce as much as I do then let me know below what you're eating at the minute and if you try this then let me know any recipe tweaks or how you like it and how it turned out. Thanks, see you soon.